pretty soon we're going to get to building a model to try and estimate the effect that smoking has on the risk of low birth weight and we're going to want to think about what variables are potentially confounded with the smoking effect what are mediators effect modifiers and so on so we're going to start a little bit of that discussion now <clears throat> i want to remind you that we've already talked about confounding previously so we're going to lean on the understanding we've built we're not going to re-explain all the exact same ideas so I want to say here that confounding is confounding regardless of the type of regression model. The way we look for it might differ slightly depending on the types of variables we have, but the concept of confounding is always the same. Okay, so this diagram here, that um, first as a variable makes sense conceptually as a confounder, is x2 associated with x1, but x, um, I should make it specific, x2 is not on the pathway between x1 and y, x2 needs to be associated with the outcome and <clears throat> when we adjust for that variable x2 or when we include it in the model the coefficient for b1 is going to change subjectively by a lot. So this is the kind of conceptual framework for a confounder. We want to think about does race make sense as a confounder and in a separate video we'll look at examining it in R on this data set and examining what happens numerically and seeing to do all these things uh, fit as well. But first, let's spend a bit of time thinking conceptually. So here, does this diagram make sense? And does this criteria make sense? Here's race, here's smoking, and here's low birth weight. So <clears throat> let's think, does it make sense that X2 and X1 would be associated? That race and smoking would be associated? Right? We need to know a little bit more about the context of the data, where and when it was collected. But I can at least say, <clears throat> we can hypothesize that if we think of race being a proxy measure, say for culture, where um, being a certain race makes you more likely to have a certain culture. It doesn't mean that uh, um, within a race category people are uniform, but if we think of race as being sort of a proxy measure for culture, certain races or certain cultures might be more likely or less likely to smoke. Right? Some cultures, people tend to smoke a lot, and some it, it might be uh, frowned upon. So we can hypothesize that this association could potentially be there, and again, with more knowledge of the data, we could strengthen uh, our belief or understanding there. <coughs> now, is X2 on the pathway? Well, first let's think, if there's an association, it's going to be race, right, which we think is a proxy measure for culture, affects whether or not you smoke, or the likelihood of smoking doesn't make sense that smoking affects race. Right? The association is not going that way. So X2 is not sitting on the pathway between smoking and low birth weight. Right? Smoking does not affect race, which in turn affects low birth weight. So conceptually, this seems to make sense. Right? What about, um, so again, just to repeat that, it makes sense that these are associated, and it makes sense, or sorry, makes sense to hypothesize they could be associated, and if they are associated, that the association would be in this direction race affecting likelihood of smoking. Does it make sense that race could affect the risk of low birth weight? Again, we can hypothesize that it, it could. I don't want to get sidetracked onto this. In our data set, we're using one definition of low birth weight. Um, the data set's a little bit older. Now it's, it's a bit clearer that how we define low birth weight should change depending on um, race category. But we're going to put that aside right in the course we're focusing more on the analytic techniques. Um, but so can we hypothesize that race may affect the likelihood of low birth weight? Let's say yes, um, we can hypothesize that and we can check um, with the data when we look at it in our, is there an association between race and low birth weight? And then finally, we can't do this one conceptually here, but uh, We'll look at an R when we adjust for X2 or we include it in the model, how does B1 change? Does it change a lot? And does the standard error not increase by a lot? Okay, but so what I'm going to say for now before we move on is that I'd say conceptually, race seems to make sense as a confounder, or at least um, our hypothesized relationships make sense that it could be a confounder. So let's explore. Um, how the association between race, smoking, and low birth weight look in the data when we go into R. Stick around, guys. There's more to see, and please stay safe.